Former President Donald Trump visited East Palestine today as cleanup continues from the train derailment more than two weeks ago. In a brief speech, Trump talked about his strong working relationship with the Federal Emergency Management Agency as president and claimed that the agency initially planned not to assist relief efforts in the village. Trump also called out President Joe Biden and Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg for not visiting the village. I sincerely hope that when your representatives and all of the politicians get here, including Biden, they get back from touring Ukraine, that he's got some money left over. The former president also announced he had donated several thousand gallons of cleaning supplies and bottled water to the East Palestine community. And as people in that community question their safety after a toxic train derailment fire, the Environmental Protection Agency vows the Norfolk Southern Railroad alone will pay for cleanup moving forward. The EPA's new legally binding order also requires Norfolk Southern to reimburse the EPA for cleaning homes and businesses. Meanwhile, the Department of Transportation is calling for freight rail reforms, including increased staffing requirements, higher maximum funds, and safety inspections on routes with high hazard flammable trains. Amazon and other companies are also stepping up to help those in need in East Palestine. Today, Pittsburgh and Cleveland area Amazon sites joined together to donate and distribute more than 1,400 cases of bottled water to the people who live there. So far, tests on the drinking water have not shown any contaminants to be found, but residents remain cautious. Truckloads of the water arrived this morning. Along with Amazon, other groups have had water delivered to the area, including Costco, Go Buckeyes, and Goya Foods.